At the pre-commissioning visit to Secure ID Manufacturing Company, the managing director, Mrs. Kofua Kikube, made a presentation on how it all began to the management of the Bank of Industry before conducting them round the factory. We started off with personalization and fulfillment in 2006. Then we backward integrated to milling and embedding, 2010. And then 2012, we started the race of this PVC card production. So 2014, um, dream come true, with the help of support of BOI, we have now set up the state-of-the-art um, card manufacturing plant. And there's a difference with this plant. First of all, it's, um, we're still actually doing our homework. Mm -hmm. It's, um, I think, the number, apart from South Africa, because okay. I need to get my research right. Mm -hmm. Apart from South Africa, there isn't a polycarbonate identity card plant. Polycarbonate is a type of card material used only for national ID cards used for your passports, that last page, that's a polycarbonate, okay. that had, okay. polycarbonate is used for sort of cards that will last for 10 years and above. Um, polycarbonate cards are the ones that so are it's used. it's like the third level. It's like yeah. the third level, the highest security level. So what we have done is to set up the highest, highest security um, platform, yes, um, um, card manufacturing plant, which means that we can do SIM cards, we can do bank cards and we can do identity cards. In Secure Card, we have over 75 employees. So, with a combined workforce of um, Secure ID, in Secure ID, we have 140. And so, we have a combined workforce of over 200. Um, by estimated workforce for 2015, for Secure Card, is 200 because we're going to be doing three shifts. We've only just started. Production is just starting in January, and we, are, you know, we have 75, so we're going to do three, three shifts. So if you combine 200 plus the 140, we're looking at a 340, 350, thereabouts. After the tour of Secure ID, Mr. Rashid Olaolua, MD of BOI, could not hide his joy. <music> 19th of January 2015 marks another milestone in the history of card manufacturing in Nigeria and Africa as President Goodluck Abele Jonathan, represented by the Honorable Minister of Communication Technology, commissioned Secure ID Card Manufacturing Factory in Lagos, the first of its kind in Sub-Saharan Africa. In his welcome address, the chairman of the company spoke on how the company thoroughly nurtured its vision. Today's occasion is a tribute to so many things that needs to be celebrated in our society, in our, in our community. The first one, of course, is this power of vision, visioning. For you to have a vision, to be able to articulate that vision, and for you to follow that vision to realization. And what we've done is that that vision has been implemented in stages. We started from the front end, which is basically some personalizing cards that were imported into this country. About a few years later, we, we integrated backwards slightly by bringing in blank cards, printed blank cards made abroad, and we did the milling and the embedding of the chips in Nigeria. And what we are commissioning today is the final realization of that vision, which is the full manufacture of plastic cards in Nigeria. <laughs> the second thing, of course, is the entrepreneurship and the entrepreneurial spirit that Nigeria is richly endowed with. I think, in my, in my view, this is the very factor that has kept this country up in spite of all that has buffeted us as a nation. Nigerians are truly entrepreneurial, 
and it gives you half a chance we can, we can build great things. Now, I'm happy to report to you that the, the plant we are going to be commissioning today is truly globally competitive. It's competitive in quality, it's competitive in technical sophistication of what we can produce, and clearly it is competitive as far as cost is concerned. So we can beat the best China and produce from this country that we see today. Speaking of global competitions, the company also got its ISO certification as well as Certificate of Excellence and Acceptance from MasterCard, Verve and Visa Card at the event. Uh, to present to you this certificate, which basically says that uh, the factory has passed the ISO 7810 test that guarantees the quality of PVC cards manufactured in this facility. So congratulations. <laughs> Present this on behalf of MasterCard to Secure ID Limited. It's um, exciting to be in Africa at a time when Africans are doing phenomenal things. Well done, Secure ID. On behalf of Valve International, we present this certificate of um, secure card manufacturing and chip impediment. The managing director of Secure ID, in her speech, commended the efforts of President Goodluck Abella Jonathan, while she also acknowledged the efforts of Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Mr. Olushe Gwaganga, as well as the managing director of the Bank of Industry, Mr. Olaolua. I must straight away acknowledge the affirmation of today by the President in accepting the, to commission this facility. That in itself speaks volumes and underscores the importance his administration places on policy fundamentals of local content, employment generation and import substitution. Secure card manufacturing has been very much in the news lately, courtesy of two important visits by the Managing Director of Bank of Industry, Mr. Rashid Olaolua. Thank you very much and by the Honorable Minister for Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Olushegu Aganga. Both have been extremely supportive to ensure that this project succeeds in every respect, and they have worked alongside with us to cross a number of hurdles. She also took the audience down memory lane on how it all started. The journey of what we are witnessing, ladies and gentlemen, started in 2006 and is a product of dogged and focused determination in the face of very challenging circumstances. Our vision, as my chairman said from inception, was to set up a full local content, end-to-end -end high security smart card manufacturing plant. And that is from raw material stage to a finished personalized card. And today, secure card manufacturing has now become MasterCard, Visa, and Verve certified. <laughs> high security for high security printing for smart cards in sub-Sahara Africa, of course, outside South Africa. We have not only set up a local plant with global standards, but we have taken the bold step in investing in the highest security printing smart card plant, enabling us to produce cards across all three sectors. And we're talking about payment cards for banking, debit, credit, MasterCard, Visa, Verve. We're talking about SIM cards for the telecom sector and high, uh, high security ID cards, such as national ID, health cards, voters cards, tax cards, and so on. The plant is able to produce the most sophisticated ID cards out of polycarbonate materials, which positions the company, well, I mean, which positions the company well to produce national ID documents for any country. I am proud to say that Secure ID is a truly Nigerian company. And 
truly, it's 100% owned by Nigerians, with 95% of his workforce being Nigerians. At this point, I would like to thank the Lagos State Government for their pioneering spirit, active support, and confidence in us to produce the 13 million high security Lagos State Residence Card, headed by Mrs. Yinka Fasola. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this significant investment could not have been achieved without our main financiers, the Bank of Industry playing its role as a development bank so professionally and we are truly honored that the managing director, Mr. Rashid Olaoluwa, chose to represent the bank on our board himself. Thank you, sir. In his remarks, the MD of BOI attributed the success story of the project to business-friendly policies of the federal government. Now, this event is a testimony to Nigeria's industrial revolution plan and the local content promotion policy of the current administration. The Bank of Industry is very pleased to have been very instrumental in making this event a reality. We provided long-term financial assistance to Secure ID for the procurement of the items of plants and machinery for the plants being commissioned today. As a Nigerian, I feel very proud that the company is wholly Nigerian, 100% Nigeria owned, and well, almost 100%, but 95% Nigeria operated. Now, as a lending institution, I also feel you know, we derive a sense of fulfillment that comes from realizing that a project finance facility has been well utilized and we can see the outcome. Now, given the efficiency of the implementation of this project, we are very confident that the plant will also be well managed, well run and very profitable and also contributes to Nigeria's economic development. As I conclude my very brief remarks, May I, at this juncture, commend the board and management of Secure ID for the great achievement. Congratulations. The special guest of honor, President Goodluck Abele Jonathan, represented by the Honorable Minister of Communication Technology, said the federal government will continue to create more business enabling policies for entrepreneurs to strive. It is a great pleasure and honor for me to be here today as your special guest of honor as we celebrate another concrete result of collaborative growth-oriented partnerships that this government's transformation agenda encourages and supports. This administration is determined to deliver more than a telecommunications revolution to its citizens. We are seeking to build a digital economy, one where economic activity is mediated by software, enabled by telecoms, networks, and leverages data. <coughs> And what you see today is a very strong collaboration between three ministries, the Ministry of Communication Technology, the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Industry Trade and Investment, that this plan today will be successful. And we are commissioning this plan really in the context of a tariff that enables total competitiveness within the industry uh, that came into effect on the 1st of January 2015, the Common External Tariff. And despite all, the, all what you hear, you know, this government and this administration is working to support local industry. I commend Secure ID Board and the entire Secure ID team, as well as their investors and partners for their confidence in making this investment in the ICT sector that will create fulfilling employment opportunities for our highly skilled graduates. It will conserve our foreign exchange through local manufacturing, as well as making it possible to enhance the security of Nigerian citizens' data through local end-to-end -end production of all smart card applications. Once again, I congratulate the board and management of Secure ID on this significant milestone achievement in Nigeria's quest to become a digital economy, participate meaningfully in a globally connected world. Thank you for listening. Thereafter, she commissioned the factory. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to be 
cutting the ribbon to commission this uh, secure ID smart card plant. Uh, it's a significant addition to the ICT sector. It's a major investment that will enable us to be a digital economy. And I'm so proud that this sector is doing so well and employing many Nigerians and ensuring that we participate in the digital economy and the globally connected world. I commission this plant to the glory of God and to the benefit of all Nigerians. I also unveil this plug that commemorates the commissioning of the Smart Club Manufacturing by His Excellency Dr. Goodluck Ebala Jonathan, GCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, on Monday, January 19, 2015. Thank you. After the tour, the BOI Impact crew also spoke with partners in progress. Basically, we want to be the leading business in our, in our, in our sector, which is basically the production of uh, smart cards and so on. And what we've done is just not for Nigeria, but for also Africa, because this is a very scale-intensive business. I mean, so the whole continent probably needs one, maybe one, maybe two of a plant like this. And therefore, we would like to be one of the two or three such plants that serves, you know, services the African continent. We saw this as a step in the right direction, consistent with Nigeria's industrial revolution plan. Okay, uh, the company actually started by pioneering the personalization of cards in Nigeria. Since then, it has taken two significant steps backwards. You know, in backward integration. So first. You know what they call what is called the milia and the bedding. We, you know that was bringing in the smart cards and actually putting the chips locally. Now they've gone a step further, backwards, to actually manufacture the card from plain sheets. This is the first of its type in uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa, and the the, the 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 plant has been certified by all the international players, Visa, Mastercard and also our own valve. Um, it has a capacity to produce 200 million cards a year. That is massive. Uh, it has a capacity to print any bank payment card. It has the capacity to produce SIM cards for the telecom sector. It also has the capacity to produce high security cards. So for instance, they can actually play a significant role in Nigeria ID card uh, project. So, as a development bank at BOI, we are very proud that we have been able to support Secure ID in terms of provision of long-term uh, facility. And as a lending institution, when you grip, when you uh, provide project finance, and you can see the outcome, you know, you can see how well utilized the, the, the funds provided have been. Uh, you feel a sense of fulfillment. And that's what we feel at BOI. BOI has not just only been a financier to us, but they've also been a huge support in helping to direct us, especially on the government side, because this kind of investment requires a lot of government support. And BOI has been a good platform um, I mean, a good partner and good platform to use um, to channel all our issues with 
with the government. Um, Bank of Industry have not just given us money and say pay us back, but they've given us money and they've stayed with us all through when the project was still being, you know, when the building was coming up, when the machines were coming in, when SATs were being done, BOI supported us all the way through.